In a legal battle that's gripping the nation, former President Donald Trump has thrown down the gauntlet in the District of Columbia Appeals Court. His mission? To dismantle the DOJ's case accusing him of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election. Trump's weapon of choice, the shield of presidential immunity. This isn't just a legal skirmish, it's a full-blown war over the very boundaries of presidential power. The stakes are sky high. The U.S. District Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia, recognizing the case's explosive nature, has fast-tracked the proceedings. Trump's defense team, led by attorney D. John Sauer, is playing hardball, arguing that the tradition of not criminally prosecuting presidents for official acts implies such power doesn't exist. They're not just fighting a legal battle, they're defending the sanctity of the presidential office from what they see as politically motivated attacks. But the DOJ isn't backing down. With the Supreme Court declining to expedite the case, the stage is set for a showdown. If the trial proceeds, Trump could be shackled to a Washington district court for months, a scenario that could cripple his presidential campaign. This isn't just about Trump, it's about the future of presidential accountability. The defense argues that a president can't be judged by the judiciary for official acts, a stance that could reshape the landscape of American politics. As the legal drama unfolds, the nation watches, waiting to see if a former president can indeed be held criminally accountable for actions taken in office.